What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video today, we're going to be going over all of the DPS heading into Season of Discovery Phase 4 and creating what I think would be a pretty accurate DPS tier list. Now I've spent a lot of time on the PTR, played like 7 or 8 different classes on my own, testing them with test work, gone through tons of logs and sat on there probably for like 20 to 30 hours straight. So without further ado, let's jump into the DPS tier list for Season of Discovery Phase 4. Alright, so to start out, we're going to start off with Ret Paladins. Now, in the beginning of the PTR, Ret Paladins were in kind of a weird place, but as of lately, the last week of doing some test work testing and even target dummy testing, I would put Ret Paladins up in B tier. The high B tier, they do decent damage, but they bring tons of utility as well. Definitely not stackable, right? Their damage isn't quite there, but a good Ret Paladin that knows what they're doing is going to deal some pretty respectable damage as well as bringing all of that utility. Now, as for Shadow Priests, right now, Shadow Priests are definitely in a really good spot. Now, I'm not sure how the scaling is going to work going forward. They might start to fall off, is what people are saying, uh, a little bit later on because they won't scale as well with gear. But right now on the PTR, Shadow Priests are definitely, in my opinion, up in A tier. Now up next on the list we have Assassination Rogue. This is going to be what we're going to call our Mutilate Rogue, right? Mutilate took a little bit of a hit a couple of days ago on the PTR. We got the damage nerfed by 20% and Venom got nerfed a little bit, but it's still doing really, really respectable damage. So in my opinion, Mutilate is still up there as one of the more viable specs uh, for melee DPS. I'm gonna put Mutilate up right behind Shadow Priests in the A tier. Now for combat rogues though, the Saber Slash rogues have definitely come online and I've seen some Saber Slash rogues hitting like 3200 plus DPS on patchwork. Uh, they're doing really, really insane DPS. So in my opinion, Saber Slash combat rogues, sword rogues, we're gonna go with the S tier. They are absolutely pumping right now. As for Subtlety Rogues, that is not a PvE DPS spec, we're not even going to rank that. Now, for Balanced Druids, Balanced Druids are still in kind of the same spot they've been in in all of Season of Discovery, realistically. Uh, they're not great, but they're not horrible. They can pump in the right hands, uh, so Balanced Druids also bring a ton of utility as well. So Balanced Druids are going to sit right in the B tier with Ret Paladins. Now, as for Elemental Shamans, Elemental Shamans are really, really fun to play in Season of Discovery. However, going through the logs, uh, they're not doing that well on patchwork, at least. Their DPS just isn't quite there. So, Elemental Shamans, in my opinion, are going to be down in C tier. Now, for you Shaman Enjoyers out there, that's not the end of the road for you, because Enhancement is doing really well really well on the PTR. Enhancement's actually one of the top melee specs. Enhancement is going to go up in the A tier above Shadow Priest. Now for my Warlock enjoyers out there, Affliction Warlock, we were really hoping that it would come online in Season of Discovery Phase 4. There were some pretty good changes for Affliction, but the problem is it's just not there. The damage just isn't there compared to Destruction. So, sadly, Affliction is going to be down in C tier right next to Elemental Shaman. But again, for my Warlock enjoyers out there, that's not the end of the road for you because Destruction Warlocks are doing really, really well. The change with having your Conflagrate not consume your Immolate debuff on the target so you don't have to waste an entire another global to get Immolate back up on the target after casting Conflagrate was huge for Warlocks. They're actually doing some really, really respectable damage on the PTR. They are slightly ahead of Shadow Priest in the A tier. They're like right there. They're kind of they're kind of neck and neck with Shadow Priest on the PTR right now. And uh, when I was doing some testing playing mine, I thought it was one. It was so much fun. Uh, the execute phase with spamming Soul Fires was just second to none. It was an absolute blast. So for you Warlock enjoyers out there, Destruction is definitely online in Phase Four. Oh, now we're up to my favorite class, the Warrior. Yes, the Warrior is doing really, really well on the PTR. I'm also really kidding. Warrior was completely gutted, especially ARMS. ARMS is doing absolutely terrible, especially after the last round of changes. The last round of changes actually bumped Fury up quite a bit. They were in a really bad spot. Now they're in like a decent spot. Uh, I'm a Warrior main myself. Um, not really a fan of how we're performing right now at the beginning of Phase 4, but again, we don't really have good weapons on the PTR, so I'm sure with some good Molten Core weapons, Warriors will really start to take off and definitely become S-tier. At least Fury will. But ARMS... 
ARMS is, is just gone. ARMS is gutted. ARMS, if there was an F tier, it would be F, but I'm not going to make another tier. I'm just going to put ARMS in D tier. It is really, really bad damage right now. It's not even worth playing. But Fury definitely is doing a lot better than it was. Uh, right now, the damage just isn't quite there. Uh, they're actually like under Ret Paladins in most cases on the PTR. But again, we're not... Warriors are really dependent on their weapons, right? And we don't have good weapons on the PTR. So for right now, at the beginning of Phase 4, Warriors are going to be pretty much in B tier behind Balance and Ret Paladins for Fury Warrior. Now, interestingly enough, Frost Mages are kind of in the middle as well. I would put Frost Mages in B tier. They're doing pretty respectable damage on the PTR. They're definitely above Ret Paladins, Balanced Druids, and Fury Warriors. So, Frost Mage is going to be at the top of B tier, in my opinion. But as for our Arcane Mage Enjoyers, uh, sadly, you are really, really not doing too well. You are down in the dumps with Warrior. You're pretty much the only thing under Arms Warrior. Sorry, not Warrior in general, Arms Warrior. Fury is way better than Arcane. Uh, Arms Warrior and Arcane Mage are pretty much just down in the dumps. There, there's really no point in even playing them unless we get some drastic changes. But Fire Mages. Now, Fire Mage is popping off. I've seen Fire Mages doing some insane damage on the PTR. So for you Fire Mage enjoyers out there, you're going to have a good time. You are in the S tier and probably in the S tier to stay throughout all of Phase 4 Season of Discovery. Now for my Feral DPS Druids, right? My kitty cats. Uh, we're, we're in a really good spot. Uh, feral DPS is doing really, really, really well on the PTR. I would say Feral DPS is at the top of A tier, right under uh, Rogue and uh, Combat Rogue and Fire Mage right now. This is over the last week on the PTR. This is this is what I'm talking about from the last round of changes. Uh, so Feral DPS is up there. You're, you're, you know, your Feral Druids are going to be having a really good time. Maybe we're not going to have such a hard time finding uh, Wild Strikes going into this next phase because playing Feral Cat is going to be really, really fun. For our Hunters, for Marksman Hunters, Marksman Hunters are actually in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, they're doing really, really well. I would say that they are actually going to be sitting in the A tier, right, right behind right next to like feral druids and enhancement shamans marksman hunters are doing insane dps they're doing really really good um and then for melee hunters they're kind of right behind them as well they got nerfed really hard there at the beginning but then they got buffed and they're sitting in a really good spot so for this bm icon that's going to be our melee hunter it's going to be right behind ranged hunter in the a tier um and the change for aspect of the lion uh that it now brings attack power uh so that you don't have to worry about having a ranged hunter bring true shot aura for that attack power for your melee groups that was an awesome change, so now melee hunters are going to bring that to that group, which is perfect. And then survival hunters are right under that. They're, they're pretty much all in the same spot. If you're playing a hunter right now, you have three really, really solid specs that you can choose from and, and you know, different play styles. It's definitely a good time to be a hunter moving into Phase 4 Season of Discovery. So there you have it, guys. This is my tier list for, as of right now, right, we're, we're about five days out from the release of Phase 4. Um, so this is where we're at. You know, Combat Rogues and Fire Mages are popping off. Um, Assassination Rogues might even be a little bit higher on this list. I'm not really sure. It, it, it kind of depends. I've, I've tested it myself. I've done Combat and uh, Mutilate Rogue, and both of them performed really, really well. Um, you know, our Feral Druids, Enhanced Shamans, all three Hunter specs, Shadow Priests, Destruction Warlocks doing really, really well. Even, even our Frost Mages, Red Paladins, Balanced Druids are doing amazing. Fury Warrior is doing okay, but anyone who's used to playing Fury Warrior, it's, I don't know. It doesn't feel great right now, and I know it's going to come online. I know it's going to be S tier probably by the time BWL comes out once you're full BIS with your weapons and stuff. Um, but right now, it just doesn't feel that good. Definitely viable, definitely able to still be bringing warriors to raid. Um, and who knows, we may get more changes before launch or even after launch before the raid launches. We got to wait and kind of see, or maybe they'll surprise everyone and be blasted up to S tier on day one of Molten Core. Who, you know what, who knows? Uh, if you get your Iron Foe and, and Fell Striker offhand, you're going to be pumping and you're not going to be B tier. So let's just keep it that way. But yeah, this is, this is where I'm at. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you think I messed anything up. I'm not perfect, but I've done a lot of testing on the PTR and this is a pretty accurate depiction of where I feel all these classes are standing in terms of DPS at the current state of the PTR right now from the last round of changes. So 
Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button. It really does help me out with the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to join an awesome Discord community full of like-minded people who all enjoy geeking out over Season of Discovery and Classic WoW in general, there's a link to the Discord in the description as well. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I'll see you all in the next one.